I just like don't know where to look. <laughs> you, would you like me to? Okay, I have to like dust though. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel if you're new. Um, today is another vlog and <laughs> we've got, I hate you when I start a video and people watch me because I just look like a freaking weirdo. Why are you doing that? By myself, but anyways, that's beside the point. No, we are getting our ears pierced today. I'm actually scared. I don't know why. And I'm also probably gonna get hate because I'm going to Claire's to do it. And I know that's not like the safest place, correct? Don't, aren't you supposed to go to like a doctor's office? I thought you should go to a tattoo place. That's why. But th okay, so listen, so I did go to a tattoo place. I used to have my second hole pierced. Cause I, I was gonna get my tragus changed. Oh, it, oh, you were gonna do it today? I was just gonna change. Is yeah. that why you agreed to go with me? Now well, we're at Claire's. <laughs> well, partially, and then you. <laughs> well, we can stop at a place on the way. I can do. But it I went and got my second hole pierced with Emily at a tattoo shop, like two or three years ago and they literally gauged my ear hole like it was not a normal piercing and my ears were bleeding for like weeks i finally like couldn't take it anymore and so i had to take them out so i was like i'm not going back to a tattoo shop so i'm just gonna go to good old claire's i made an appointment online it's in five minutes <laughs> yeah i just wanted to start off a vlog i don't really know exactly what this vlog is going to entail but i'm just gonna do a few days or maybe just a day we'll see here's jenny and we look we're like matching black and glasses i'm gonna see i'm gonna try to get jenny to vlog but i don't know if they'll be like stop recording but if yeah. we're on the phone oh i'm starting this vlog on my phone because i forgot my memory card but maybe we'll keep it an iphone vlog who knows Mask. oh yeah i need to get mine look i got a camo one mine fit, mine. It's supposed to be like this or i don't know that looks like a bra to me they all look like bras not mine yeah i feel like that you want me to count or do you want to just do it? Oh, you can just do it. So yeah. what happened? You went back to the same room? Take it over now. Alright. Oh, that doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> well, you also had it pierced already. Yeah. Alright. 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 Like let's, a baby. Let's put this second. Let's put this one in. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah, I'm living for it, sister. My hair looks like ass. Okay, you guys, it didn't hurt. I'm such a wimp, and it didn't hurt me. I was expecting way worse. So, if I can do it, you can do it. They're kind of throbbing right now, actually, to be honest. But I got these little gold um, balls. There's not really many options to choose She's from. Got gold balls. <laughs> These are 14 carats, so I should be able to like shower in them and all that. Like they shouldn't tarnish because that's what like all this jewelry is. So I got my earrings off Amazon. They've never turned. Let me see. I sleep in them. You sleep in those? Yeah. I do not know how people sleep in the earrings. Like, I don't. I never even. You know, I never even. Just got home from getting my ears pierced. Um, I moved this big mirror into. Sorry, this room is a mess. I've been literally working all day and then I just got back. But yeah, I got my ears pierced. I'm back on my camera now. I need to clean this mirror. We just moved it home from Athens. So I'll be at Sarah and Ben's for a little, possibly going to the beach, possibly. I don't really know exactly what my plan is yet, but I just got, oh, hey, Winnie. Just got a package in the mail from Amelia J Boutique. So cute. They reached out and sent me some stuff, wrote me the cutest little letter. They gave a discount code, so if you guys wanna check them out, it's Rach10, you can get 10% off. They have the cutest little website, I looked at it. They sent me some clothes, look at how freaking cute this ribbed set is. You guys know I love comfy sets, so that's so cute. This little crop, it literally feels like a towel, it's so comfy. Another little tie-dye, this um, tan little cami that crosses, it's super, cute and then these linen shorts you guys they sent winnie a toy if that's not the cutest thing i opened up the package and winnie like immediately took it she's so exhausted she's been playing all day like are you kidding all right good morning everyone we're going on a little walk i wanted to do a workout this morning i figured i would knock two things out so i'm gonna do like a 45 minute walk with winnie or i guess however long she lasts probably only like 30 minutes but yeah, we're just walking in the neighborhood. I'm trying to teach her how to like walk on the leash. She's getting a lot better at it. <laughs> she loves it. Wait, you gotta stay on this side. She's literally so fluffy. It's so funny when I have her harness on. Look at her butt, it looks so... <laughs> just put Winnie back inside, but I'm gonna do a little uh, Melissa Wood health workout on my phone outside because 
the sun's not really out yet. It's really sunny. Or, no, that didn't even make any sense. <laughs> the sun is not out yet, so it's very shady and it feels really nice out. And then I'm going to use these one pound weights from Bala. I can link them for you guys. They are literally the bomb. I love doing her arm workouts because everyone has their least favorite part of their body. And for me, that's my arms. They've just never really been super, super toned. So I love doing her arm workout. She has a 12 minute power series arm with one weight and then she has like a ton a 15 minute and she has a ton that are like um what do you call it no weight so it's just body weight which is nice so i wrap them around my hands like this and then start the workout with your feet hip width apart and I just finished up that workout. I love doing her quick little workouts, especially if you feel like you have a busy day. You can at least get one or two in. I love doing arms and abs or like abs and legs, like mixing it up and doing two of them um, when I have the time. But today I just went on a walk and did arms and I can always feel a big burn in my arms and I've honestly noticed a big difference in my arms as of recently which is exciting so um really quick i'm about to shower and then get on with the day but i wanted to talk to you guys really quick about vanity planet i want to thank them for sponsoring today's video this is the vanity planet digital body analyzer scale i've never been a huge fan of weighing myself or body skills or things like that because i feel like the number on the screen doesn't technically matter i feel like um, how you feel inside is like how you matter if you feel like you're healthy or if you feel like you're on top of it when it comes to fitness and things like that I feel like that should matter more as opposed to what your exact weight is on the scale so why I like this scale is because it measures your muscle mass body weight bone mass and water weight you're missing out on all that good information that is actually probably way more important than what your actual weight is on the scale so I'll show you guys how I use it so basically what I really like is how so you just can go to set and you can do so I have like myself set right here so I'm P1 and then Ben set himself as P2 and you can do up to eight people which is really nice so like Dylan could set himself on here and you just do male or female or athlete your height your age and then whatever person you are so go back to me so this is what it looks like when you step on it I'm covering up my weight because obviously it doesn't matter um, but it just kind of shows your water weight percentage body fat percentage bone density muscle mass and all of that so super cute I also love how it looks in the bathroom it's very like sleek I'm gonna be bringing it to mine and Dylan's place. I know Dylan will really like it too. So what I really like is knowing your body composition and what it's made up of is a way healthier, more proper balance than just looking at your weight on the scale every single day. Also, I weigh myself at the same time every day um, or every week. I try to switch it up. I don't weigh myself technically every day because I feel like that's not the healthiest a mindset to have. But every time I do it, it's always like in the morning right after I work out or shower or something like that. So I have a discount code for you guys. If you go to the link in the description, I'll have it linked down below. You can use my code RACKY60 to get 60% off, which is huge. Definitely check it out. They go fast. So if you're interested, definitely hop on it because they do go really fast. So again, thank you Vanity Planet for sponsoring today's video and... I'm gonna shower, get on with the day, and I have a few errands to run, some work, I have a video to edit. Is that your new favorite spot? You like it? <laughs> she goes and lays in here when she doesn't want anyone to touch her, which is like majority of the time. She's not like a very cuddly dog, which makes me sad, but I mean, she just likes to do her own thing, which is basically me and a dog little like sticking out of the end with her toy you guys she's so cute update on the ear piercing i actually slept like it wasn't even there last night i think because i had already had it pierced before that they literally just had to like puncture the skin barely because like touching it like i it literally feels like it's been there for weeks so that's the update I think it looks so cute like that. I really want to get my third one now and do like two balls and a hoop. I think that would be so cute. It's Rachel. Hey Rachel, how are you today? Pull through with extra ice. 
Thank you. I got ready, um, did some stuff this morning, and then now I'm in the car, clearly. I'm at Starbucks. I need to get a new car mount because mine, I used to have a really good car mount from Amazon and I need to just reorder it. It's like $7, but it came off and then it got all unsticky so it won't stay. So I literally always have to like put you guys in random spots in my car. But I'm at Starbucks and I feel like every vlog I am at Starbucks. But like, I also feel like I'm always making coffee at home so I'm like, what am I doing? I literally drink probably two or three coffees a day. I feel like Emma Chamberlain, but not as cool, you know? I used to think she was funnier than what she is now. I feel like sometimes she's just like a little too negative, but her old videos are super, super funny if you go back and watch them. She like literally centers her whole entire day around coffee and I feel like that's me. And yeah, so it's a problem, but I just love it. And I keep telling myself I'm gonna make coffee more at home and stuff, but it's just like something I enjoy. So it's just something that I do, I don't know. I mean, I feel like people who really love coffee and love like getting a coffee from somewhere, like they set aside money or like do that. I don't know, call me crazy, but I just, when I went to Minnesota, um, this guy across the street is staring at me. I just looked over there and he's like completely looking. But when I went to Minnesota, I used Aaron's coffee maker at his house and they have a Jura. They got it from William Sonoma and it's pretty up there in price. I looked into it because it was such good espresso shots and you just have to put the beans in it which is nice and then it like grinds it all for you so you're not having to buy like the pods and stuff and don't get me wrong i love my nespresso machine but at the same time sometimes my coffee just doesn't taste the best i don't know i don't know how to explain it maybe it's the pods i'm using maybe i'm like over those pods and i just need to try new ones i think i'm like gonna try to maybe find a new coffee maker i'll update you guys because i know a lot of you got the nespresso machine that i have and i love it don't get me wrong i'm gonna bring that to my apartment with me and dylan and use it until i figure something else out but i just want one of those at home like coffee makers that uh like grinds the beans and stuff for you i feel like it tastes very fresh so not that I'm a coffee connoisseur or whatever. Is that the right word? Connoisseur? Yeah. I got a large, <laughs> I got a venti vanilla cream cold brew extra ice. It's so bomb. I used to be into like the lattes, but now I've recently been really liking cold brew. But what I was saying was I got a large because I'm so tired today. For some reason, I don't know if I just pushed everything off until this week or I just had a lot of due dates this week like YouTube wise and school wise but I just feel like very overwhelmed I've been like editing a different video every single day which is kind of overwhelming I know I'm not complaining I absolutely love doing YouTube but it's just like a lot and then on top of doing my online class which it's like final week presentation rehearsal and stuff which is like the biggest week for my campaigns and then a lot of assignments due I had been traveling which was my choice again not complaining all of that so which is good though because being busy is great and if you would ask me three three months ago when I was just doing nothing at home like I would have died to have been busy like this so I love it I'm also very thankful that I get to do what I do so I was thinking about that late last night that I was like editing really late into the night because I had a video due today for a brand and I was just thinking like how fun and cool it is that like I get to just sit here and film my life and show you guys and have you guys watch me and be supportive about it and um be very yeah very very supportive you guys are the best put post it out for you guys to enjoy and like create content for you guys to enjoy I've been thinking about a lot of ideas to get more creative and stuff when it comes to my content as well obviously you guys love the vlogs and the vlogs I feel like when I do like sit down videos and try to put like cool videos together I'm very very like want to be professional about it but then I feel like when I'm doing vlogs I'm just like bleh like film anything laugh at anything like look it's like freaking psychotic in a vlog but I feel like you guys like that it's very relatable which I hope I am I hope that I can be relatable for you guys because at the end of the day I am just like you guys I'm just filming my life and you guys probably aren't now I'm just rambling on but I think it's really cool that I get to call this a job and like I don't know I'm just lucky I'm just very lucky because I know a lot of my friends and stuff are looking for jobs right now out of school and that would totally be me if I wasn't blessed with the opportunity of doing YouTube so yeah I also have a lot of exciting things coming up I can't really say yet because I want to keep it a surprise but um, there's something I'm very very excited about coming up so stay tuned make sure you follow me on Instagram because I always am posting there first just because it's like a quicker turnaround opposed to like filming uploading editing 
a video. So make sure you follow me on Instagram because I have an exciting announcement. So a ton of Poshmark orders to send off. I did a closet clean out because I just moved out of my Athens apartment and you guys literally bought all, like everything was gone in like two hours. So I have like probably 40 orders that I need to send off and Sarah and Ben don't have a printer, so I have to go print all of that from like Staples or something, which takes me some time, but it's okay. And then I really, really wanna go to the Restoration Hardware outlet, like, outlet right now. I'm like trying to talk myself into not doing it because I'm not moving in for a while, but it's only a 55 minute drive from where I'm at, which is not terrible. And I feel like you guys would like to see it, but I just like don't know if I should. I have class at two, but I can do it on my phone and it's only 11, so. I've already gotten a lot of stuff done today, so I think I might go. <laughs> Three pieces at Restoration Hardware that I'm looking into. If you're new to my channel, I'm moving to Raleigh in like a month. So I'm getting new furniture. I sold all my furniture from Athens or I gave it to my parents. So I have literally nothing right now except a couch. So I'm looking for a bed, a coffee table, and side tables. That's like my main priority right now. Everything else we can just wait on or live without. So i have been looking at restoration hardware because furniture from anywhere is expensive but restoration hardware is extremely exp expensive i just love the vibe and the feel of it i love the quality i hate like when you buy furniture and then you have it for a year or two and then it just is falling apart on you and like yeah it was only three or four hundred bucks but then it's like then you have to buy another piece and it's like that's another 500 bucks so it's like at the end of the day you could have just bought a nice piece of furniture invested in your furniture and you're good with it so I want to get pieces since I know me and Dylan will be moving a lot because of his job that he's trying to go into um, he's trying to go into coaching so we're gonna be moving everywhere so I want to make sure that these like furniture that I get is gonna match any place be very neutral be very like not like out there pieces I don't know so I want to go to the outlet to see if like anything that they have is any good obviously I'm not gonna get it now which kind of defeats the purpose because outlet gets different things every time but I don't know I just want to see if like they actually have things that are on their website because again it's pricey I would love to pay an outlet price versus the normal price because apparently the outlets are just like things that were on the floor already or returned or like in showrooms so then they can't sell them for full price so they're like discounted from like 40 to 60 percent off so I'm gonna call them and see if they're like open and like what the deal is. I know you probably have to wear a mask, which is fine. I have a mask right here. And um, I guess I'll update you guys if I end up going because I'm really considering it, so. I was so close to buying two nightstands. I was so excited about it. I put them up at the front on hold, was still looking around because all I can literally fit is nightstands with me. So like I couldn't get a dress or anything. They hold your stuff for like 24 hours, but that wasn't enough time for like to get someone that had a bigger car to help me. But um, I went on their website and it was the two nightstands I was looking for, but the color of them looked a little like brighter. So I was just like making sure that I could eventually order the dresser to match the nightstands. So it would eventually match all together because the nightstands were like 60% off. They were like an insane deal. I was so excited. And then I find out from the worker that the nightstands are like a discontinued color so they don't make them anymore. So that's why they were there, which I liked the color honestly better than the colors online. So that was a bummer, but I didn't want to not get the dresser and then have two nightstands because I mean, they're still pretty pricey. I would have two nightstands that wouldn't match my dresser. So I was like, you know what? I need to just wait. So I'm going to wait on a day when they get another truckload in and closer to move in day. So that's what happened. But if you're looking or like interested in restoration hardware outlets, the pricing is like actually pretty good like they had a bunch of stuff i mean it's obviously still so expensive it's ridiculous but the quality that was the first time i could like touch on the items and like see them besides when i went in minnesota just to, like to look at the showroom but 
it was pretty like the, the nightstands were really really nice and there was like a nick on the corner of one of them that like had chipped off but it was like way over half off so i was like to save like three four hundred dollars i would so much rather just have a little nick on the side of the nightstand so i'm definitely gonna be back there if you live in dawsonville georgia that's where i am it's like 45 minutes from me so definitely check it out it was pretty good they had a ton of stuff and she said that they had a lot more truckloads coming in so Saran to home goods when i get home i'm gonna do a home goods haul i got a bunch of good stuff and for the apartment and i think tonight i'm gonna get dinner with jenny so that's what we got going on i'm gonna drive home now oh i have class in 20 minutes on my phone I wanted to do a little home goods haul. I got a bunch of good stuff at home goods for the apartment before I put it into a box to be in storage for the next month until we move. But I wanted to show you, I know everyone's home goods is different, but typically you can still kind of find somewhat of the same type of items. So first I got these two sets of glasses. So I wanted to do like a set of four. I did end up getting the crate and barrel like beer soda glasses, but sometimes I want to just drink out of like plastic or something and Sarah and Ben have the Tervis cups, which I have been using here for the past few months. And so I wanted to get something kind of like that. So I found these. I'm going to open it so I can show you guys. Please excuse this outfit. I was just taking a nap and uh, yeah, that's my only explanation for that. Um, but this is what they look like. So they're, it's like... It, it like sounds like glass, but it's not. Just these little latte glasses, and they're double lined. So great for like lattes, um, things like that, ice water. So I got four of those. Over here I got four uh, flameless candles. You guys, these candles are so expensive everywhere else, but Home Goods has them. So if you guys are looking for some like flameless candles, you just turn them on with like a battery. This is what they look like. So it just looks like that and the flame kind of like flickers so it looks like it's real. These were literally, the big ones were $14.99 and then I got two small ones that were only $9.99. So that was great. I have ordered some big uh, lanterns from Pottery Barn. I'm going to put them on like the dresser and maybe on the table on the floor of the patio. Who knows? I ordered some from Pottery Barn. So these are going to go in there. I got this for the kitchen. This is so random but Sarah has one of these at her house and I've been using it. And you just like stick your hand in it when you're washing dishes so you don't have to like touch anything which dishes gross me out to begin with so but i got those and then i'm really excited about this i feel like i'm a weirdo for being excited about this but mine and dylan's favorite board game is monopoly so i thought this was so cute it's a vintage like bookshelf edition so you can set it on your coffee table it just looks like a big book pull it out i probably will keep the sleeve on it to keep it like safe or protected whatever so it just looks like a book and then it opens and it's a mini like uh, older edition of a Monopoly game. It's so cute, look. Looks like that. And it's mine and Dylan's favorite board game. So I figured it would be cute to have in the apartment. We could always play it, a little date night, something like that. And we can keep it on our coffee table. So I've been collecting a few coffee table books from Home Goods because they can be really expensive. And I've been finding a lot of really good ones. Can I, can this not? Then I got these two toys for Winnie because every time I go there, I just have to get her new toys. Well, first off, she rips them up like crazy. So they're always all over the place. So I like to get rid of them once there's like a hole so she doesn't rip the stuffing out. And Home Goods always has dog toys for very inexpensive. So I got her this little margarita and then this ice cream. So I haven't given them to her yet, but. Hey, Winnie. Look, Brenna's gonna take it because she's thinks she's the boss over here. Wait, I gotta get this plastic off. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's ice cream. Do you guys like it? Look at all the dogs. <laughs> okay, anyways, put that over there. And then lastly, I got this little vase set, which I don't know if I'm gonna have a spot for this in the apartment. I just liked it and got it and you, I could always return it for like store credit or something, but this is what it looks like. And I figured even if I just kept it like in a closet or something until like the holidays, it would be pretty to do like holiday themed stuff coming out of the top or even just like eucalyptus on the kitchen table or on the dresser, bookshelf, somewhere. So it's just three little dainty little vases and I thought it was cute because some of the stuff in my apartment is like gold themed. So got this and it was only, 
$24.99 for these three and they're pretty like nice and normally this kind of stuff is pretty pricey so that's everything that I got from home goods I'm gonna put it all up I just took a nap so my makeup probably looks all gross but I'm gonna go to dinner with Jenny we're gonna go to unwind which is like a little wine cheese board place here and yeah that's what's going on the rest of the day and that's about it except this mirror is so dirty apologize so dirty. here's Jen okay we're going to dinner I want to show you guys my outfit because like I'm kind of into it. Nice yeah, you're right there. <laughs> okay, this little crop is from Aritzia. I'll link my outfit below for you guys. Aritzia, jewelry as always. Um, jeans are goldie. I get a lot of questions about sizing on these jeans and size down like two sizes because they stretch and they run super oversized. They're like the 90s fit. And then the Vans. So that's the outfit. We're going to go to dinner. And I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here or keep going tomorrow, but if not, peace. Thanks for watching.